oh, when you run, you know, when you hear people run, they're always like, I'll break it down and they'll do things like, oh, you know, it's 5K, it's only 1K five times. I hate that shit. I think that's the wrong way of approaching endurance. I think the way you should approach approach endurance is not breaking it down. I think it's just like being present. It is what it is. You're out here to suffer and that's what, well, you're out here to be here. So just be here. Because, you know, it's that, it's that resistance fight that actually causes you, it's tiring in your own brain. Yeah. You know, how much harder is a plank when you've only got five seconds left? You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you've got, if you're just planking, you're not thinking about it, you're just planking. That's the only way, that's the way I could, guess I could describe it. It's like if you go for a marathon and you say, oh, you know, I've got, you keep tracking the Ks you're hitting versus like, I'm just going to run for four and a half hours. I f- like for me, I don't know, maybe it's different for people, but for me, I find peace in just knowing I'm out there. So for the car thing, I'm not going to, I'm going to, not going to focus too much on pace. Mm. I was going to be there, just get it done. Just not even think about it. Just, just walk, hang out with my friends. Do you, do you, <laughs> do you think, because I've, I've struggled with this, particularly when I was doing like a half marathon type of running distances, mm. it was a new experience for me. And I'm like, man, I never run so much in my life. I know that's like pretty minimal to you, but it's like, it can take up a lot of time. Obviously you're doing it's so it. So tiring. Yeah. I hate right? running. And at the it can eat away at your day, obviously. It's like you got shit to do, but obviously that's part of the shit you said you'd do. Mm. But then on the other end, I got into that, I think a bit of a trap of like breaking it down and, and like counting minutes and kilometers. Oh, it kills you. Yeah, it slows it down. Yeah, it's, it's, I, that's, I see, I try to break that negative. I don't, some people, I don't think people realize that's a negative cycle. And I know that some for some people it isn't a negative cycle. Some people break things down and they find enjoyment in it. It's cool. But I think for most people, it's a negative loop that we're stuck in. Like we're thinking about it ending. For me, I mm. feel like I'm grateful that I'm there. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Like I really – and like I think this is years of doing long p- bouts of exercise. I've like worked out the mindset that I need to be in. Um, for me, like when I'm training, it's just like I, if I start thinking about how long it's like I stop myself. And I just reset and then I just think about nothing. Okay, like, hold up. If you start thinking about like how long it's going to be. Oh, yeah. You, stop. It's like you got to- You physically stop? It's like you've got to short circuit it. You've got to short circuit. I'm going to stop doing that. Stop oh, you tell yourself stop, to yeah. stop thinking like that? Yeah, I'll be like, what are you doing? Stop. And then? Either, there's two things. You're either in a meditative state or you're thinking about something else. So you get lost in your own thoughts. Okay. Do you know how easy it is to walk- or run when you're thinking about something else. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and then you come back and you get out of your own head. That's why it's like it's e- they say it's easier to do events when you're not thinking about why you're doing it, thinking about why something, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like... Distracting yourself almost. Yeah, just, I think just people underestimate how great distraction is. Mm. Like, I can sit on a bike and watch three, four episodes of something and I'll be out there for three hours and like, oh, this guy's ruthless. Like, I just watch Netflix for three hours, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I, you know, I walk a sled, and like, what'd you do today? I'm like, I watched three episodes of something. <laughs> you know, I walk a sled, and I probably watch more movies than you. And right, every, you that's, know, that's, that's so funny. Movies, I've seen probably everything on Netflix. <laughs> I've watched everything, <laughs> and it's like, because I'm out there, I'm doing, I'm doing something. I'm just like people. You don't need. You can distract yourself, and it'd be fine. And, and it could be anything. It could be like a conversation with somebody. You could be on the phone. That's it. I'll call people sometimes when I'm doing the sled. Right. Like I'll look for anything, anything I can to distract myself. And then when I'm feeling good, I don't distract myself. All right, but here's the key: you're not reliant on distraction. Not reliant on distraction. Because if you were, and then you would, and you're on the airport by yourself. Yeah. And you have no distraction. I'm comfortable in my own head, but I know that sometimes it's great to be out of my own head, as well. Okay. So okay. like I take sometimes I want to be distracted. Sometimes I want to be in my own head, but it is in a positive way. But if I'm feeling like I'm in a negative loop, like because it's sometimes you just feel more negative about exercising. That's just how it is. So those are good times to you know be distracted. Like sometimes I reply to emails when I'm walking the sled. Yeah, no, it's because you got your arms are free. Yeah, yeah. my arms are free. It's yeah. great. Yeah. That's why this event's been one of the most interesting things to train for. 